I got it. The house won't burn down now. Because of this? Yeah. And if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, you missed the first part of this video. And let's just say we had some electrical complications. Oh! oh. No longer will we be cooking in the bathroom. We're cooking in the bathroom. <laughs> That's the solution right here. 10 gauge extension cord. In our previous video, I had a 12 gauge extension cord. Well, after an hour of using this, well, you have to watch that video to find out. This reminds me of the end of Back to the Future, where he's at the clock tower and he's hanging from, Barney! And he's like, Doc, come on, Doc. Time's running out. He's like, oh, great Scott. And then he plugs it in, and right as he plugs it in, zap. Back to the Future. All right. So is it back to the shawarma? If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to go back in the bathroom. Kids, don't do this at home. Woo! Yes! All right, it's time to make shawarma. I know this video is titled Pizza Shawarma, but we gotta, we gotta work our way up there. Bacon. This was a tough find, folks. They limit two per customer, so we had to go to the grocery store eight days in a row. It's gonna be a combination of all of this gloriousness. Hickory smoked, applewood smoked, thick cut, cracked black pepper. We're doing bacon shawarma. We're gonna just stack it up and then you're gonna have weeks and weeks of delicious bacon that you can just shave off in the morning onto your breakfast sandwich. That's my thought process. Just a spiral of delicious bacon. Looks like if like a Christmas tree was bacon, it would be this, like, like a bacon bush. And now we just set it and forget it. God, I'm like an infomercial. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You just set it and forget it. You just set it and then forget it. I love that guy. Who's the set it and forget it guy? Ron something. Ron Popeil! <laughs> Anyway, we're just gonna put it in our vertical rotisserie, power it on, and then turn on the heat. And set it and forget it. That's if you followed all the instructional material. Honestly, we're just doing this to make the house smell good. This is definitely like a better version of a candle. <laughs> wow, your house smells great, what is that? Removing all of the stuff from our patio because there's a tropical storm coming <laughs> and yeah, that might break a window. <laughs> wow, look at that bacon. It's so crazy watching it drip all that fat. Okay, that didn't work, that didn't work. And now we put it on a breakfast sandwich. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's funny because it's like a very small amount of bacon and like that's how much bacon you cook. I'd probably just recommend baking it, to be honest with you. Baking the bacon? I yeah, I would just bake it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. You don't care about it, JP? It didn't work. It doesn't make any sense, and in my head it seemed a lot... Okay, it looks cool. That's why I did it. And no one's done it, because it's a bad idea. We're depending on you, JP, because I don't approve of anything you do. I still don't approve. So we're gonna Americanize shawarma with chicken bacon ranch. We're gonna go tasty before we go experimental. So we're gonna have a delicious blend of thinly sliced chicken thighs doused and ranch dressing, and then layered on our skewer, just like traditional shawarma, but we're gonna add an element of naturally smoked hardwood cracked black pepper smoked bacon and Swiss cheese to each layer. The only question I have is, will the bacon cook at the same rate as the chicken? And if you're wondering what's to the left of me, don't show it. <laughs> That's the pizza one, but you're gonna see that later. Well, actually, we'll just censor it. Show them again, we'll just censor it. Ooh. It's actually starting to look really freaking good right now. Is it? There is like a little ambiance of beauty as I continue to look at it as it grows. I'm giving it a little hope. Oh, we're at the top. 
Voila, we are done. This is a lot of meat. If this works, it will be so delicious. All right, there it is. Everything's intact, ready to go. Go hit the button, crank it up. And set it and forget it. That's if you followed all the instructional material. And there it is, it's gorgeous. Chicken bacon ranch warmer. yes. We'll see you in 30 minutes. Cooking. You can hear it cooking. Let me get the ASMR near it. Look at that glorious chicken bacon branch. It's just broiling while this slowly turns for your enjoyment. It looks like it's on fire actually. Is it on fire? It's on fire! It's not on fire. Okay. It's not on fire. We could potentially have a grease fire though. If any of the oil hits those coils, flames. It looks like drapes little meat particles. It's like a meat coat hanger. I just want to eat it off of that vertical skewer. I want to turn it horizontally and bite it like a burrito. This thing's been rotisserie for 30 minutes. We are about 10 degrees away from perfection. There it is. This thing turned into roasted duck right before your eyes. I know, it really does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Would you eat me? I'd eat me. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Look at that. That's gonna be so delicious. Chicken bacon ranch shawarma. In my house. Ooh, this is gonna be the best thing you've ever eaten. We can't show people this video. We're gonna steal this idea. I need more chicken, less bacon, which is something that most people would never say in their lives. But this is good. I just feel like we can do one better. Let's make one more. So we are going to attempt to make pizza shawarma. You probably knew from the thumbnail and the title of this video, but we're doing it. To start, we are going to dust the bench with some flour and then open one of these pre-made pizza doughs. Convenience-wise are incredible. Taste-wise, I give it a four out of 10. But when you shawarma it, it's completely elevated. Now we just take our little ring mold cookie cutter and we cut out our shapes. Look at that. Oh, that's so satisfying. Just like the professionals do, we do this motion right here. Just pressing it out, giving it a little bit more body. This also aerates the dough to make it more fluffy and voluptuous. Are you making that up? Sounds like, sounds like that makes sense. You're just touching it more okay. with your fingers that are not clean. They're, dude, they're clean. Dude, we live in a whole new world. Everything that I do now is clean. I promise. And now all we do is make a pizza. I mean, it's that simple. We grease up the base. We skewer down our dough. So for sauce application, I figured it would be much more efficient if I had it in a squeeze bottle, like mediate the amount of sauce I'm using. Yeah, a spoon would just be so much more difficult, right? And now we're just going to spread on some sauce. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ew, don't put it on there. What's inside, it's an, an onion? onion. It was an onion. There's gonna be more onions. I literally wanna like give you a spoon. Julia, just stop. Oh, there's an onion stuck in there again. <laughs> Wait, you're using a spoon now? Yes. This does remind me of a Lunchable. Oh my God, this is such a good idea. Shawarma is traditionally lamb or mutton, but I think pepperoni and sauce and cheese and dough um, could be the norm. Next layer. Look at that. I gotta tell you, the spoon's working out really good. Like, way better than the squeeze bottle. I don't know why you made me put that sauce in the squeeze bottle. <laughs> Such a silly thing. It's like I'm dirty more stuff than I need to. Julia. All right, guys, someone did request that we make a pizza cylinder. Throw that comment right up on the screen right now. Yeah, this is for him or her or it, because that's a thing. We're gonna have one last layer to top it off that's gonna really encapsulate all of this wonderful flavor. <gasps> That's a pizza cylinder. Let's turn that on. Crank this sucker. And you set it and... 
That's all you have to do. Best thing I've ever done in my life. Got the dough. Is the dough cooked? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. completely. It worked. It actually worked. Mm hmm. Now that I shaved that off, we're gonna keep glistening in it. Yes. You gotta try it. I'm not even joking. It tastes brick oven. That's crazy. It's definitely better than in the oven. And it's a freaking eyegasm. It gets so hot, the pizza actually has a good char to it. The world is our oyster. The possibilities are infinite. Easy to use, easy to clean. Chicken has turned out wonderful on it. Very simple, very easy to use. Prime rib I've cooked. Machine is fabulous. I'm pretty sure anything you put in this thing is gonna be a good idea. You set it. You can't just set and forget your heart. You have to do things that are active to help your health. That's why I recommend it to my patients. Guys, subscribe and hit the bell icon for that. And become a member. Credits, boom, on the screen. Right there, blocking that pizza. <laughs> you gotta zoom out so the credits don't, yeah. It's like, if you love crust, then this is the way that you should eat pizza because after you eat the crust, it crusts up again. What else should I shawarma? Make sure you comment something super bizarre and weird. We gotta trigger Julia. We have to make her not approve, but then make her approve later because then she finds out, wow, it actually works and it's tasty. Gummy bears, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not gummy bears.